how does contraband get into these prisons? Um, how do inmates get their hands on uh, touchscreen cell phones, iPhones, chargers, lighters, tobacco, weed, pills, cocaine? I mean, anything you can imagine. How does it happen? Well, uh, having served 10 years in state prisons myself, this is something that a lot of my community is asking me to talk about. So I think I should start with uh, kind of what I'm seeing most often in a lot of these comments on my other videos. People are saying, uh, it is awful that these guards are bringing this stuff in to these inmates. Why do these guards uh, you know, supply these inmates with all this contraband? It's the guards who are responsible. Well, it's not. Uh, it's really not the guards. They're the least responsible for the amount of contraband that comes in. Now, it's certainly not unheard of for a guard to bring in some contraband, but specifically the phones, you know, your, your bigger packages, your bigger items, they're not going to bring that in. Uh, it's got to be something very small, probably just a small amount of drugs or some pills. If you More likely the newer guards, uh, they'll be the ones who you can uh, potentially convinced to bring something into you, but it, it, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of warming up and feeling out uh, this guard and gaining their trust. And the thing about that is, even if you can get a guard to, to start bringing something into you or regularly bringing something into you, it's not going to last very long in my experience. Uh, the reason for this is, despite cliches and what you may see in movies a lot, there are a lot of prison snitches. Now, they're not just outright snitches and make it public to everyone. It's more of a sneaky, a very sneaky way of snitching. Um, and there's several ways they can do this, and it really comes from just jealousy and hate between inmates. Um, if a guard works with one person or, or maybe he's bringing something in for one gang, and this other gang is not getting anything. They can't get anything brought into them. Well, this gang is going to have all these drugs or, or is able to get these drugs and sell them and make money. This gang has money coming in and this gang has nothing. Um, and, you know, a lot of times they won't like that. It, it's not that hard to get on the prison website. Everyone has cell phones in there now. It's not that hard to get on the prison website if you want to and anonymously report a tip to the uh, prison headquarters of that state. Um, and all you have to do is say who who's bringing that in, or it, it can even be much simpler than that. Um, sometimes inmates will just write that information down on a little piece of paper, fold it up, and maybe when they're going onto the yard, going to the cafeteria, they'll just toss it down over there by an officer or, or put it in the mail slot because they know that the prison staff is going to check these mail slots and get all the envelopes and look at them thoroughly before this mail is sent out. You know, little ways that they know um, that this message is going to get seen by the the right person and the guards know this so they know it's very risky and if the rare chance occurs that you are able to get a guard to start bringing something in for you probably won't last long a last note on on the guards bringing stuff in if you do get one um how do they do that how is that happening well guards get searched by the staff uh when they come to work for that exact reason, to make sure they're not bringing in any contraband or anything they're not supposed to have. Usually, uh, they would put something small enough that would fit uh, into their food, whatever their lunch or you know what they were bringing to eat to work that day. Uh, maybe in a thermos, maybe they have some macaroni and cheese, something like that. And they'll just hide it in there, and it won't be searched. They're not going to pick through your food, so it was pretty smart. But uh, they recently started catching on to that, and that's why a good bit of officers got caught. So, don't know what they're doing now, if anyone's still doing it. Next, uh, we have visitation. Visitors coming to see inmates and handing off contraband to them. Now, again, this is not how the cell phones and, and the chargers get brought in. I'll get to that next. But th this is more for, again, your, your smaller packages of drugs, uh, you know, tobacco, weed, pills, things like that. Uh, things that are very small and can be hidden well. And also, the visitors get ran through a metal detector before they're allowed to come in and, and, and visit. They don't allow much contact during these visits. There's there's not a glass or a screen um, like in the county jail that you'll see a lot. Uh, you're sitting at a table with your visitor, and they'll let you have a hug and maybe a kiss if it's your wife or whatever. You know, uh, they'll let you do that before, and they'll let you do that after the visit. So usually, what happens is uh, there's going to be a small handoff. You know, there are officers stationed around that are supposed to be looking for movement and, and things that look suspicious, as if contraband may be being handed off. Um, 
one of the more common ones is when you're going to hug the person. Uh, you have your prison uniform tucked into your pants. When they go to hug you, they'll have the contraband. They'll have the contraband in their hand, and they'll they'll drop it right there. Uh, down the collar of your shirt so it's very subtle very smooth and it'll just fall down and it won't fall out of your pants because your shirt is tucked in nice and tight at that point it's up to the inmate and how good he is at concealing that because he will have to get strip searched uh, before he goes back to his cell block after that visit so a lot of guys get caught and a lot of guys don't it's all about how good you are at, at hiding it and getting it through so that, that's really about the gist of how contraband gets through on visitation Next, uh, this is the big way. This is how they get the big amounts of contraband in. Several things at a time, um, and the cell phones and the chargers. I've seen actual pocket knives sold in stores get thrown in. Uh, T-shirts, uh, whatever you want. This is how this stuff gets in. Inmates will get someone uh, on the outside to go to the stores. They'll send them some money, and they'll go to the stores and or drug dealers, you know, wh wherever they have to go to get the stuff that the inmate wants. Um, they'll put it all together into a package. Uh, they might come to the prison with four, five, six packages. Um, they come about th 3 a.m., 4 a.m. while it's dark outside. Uh, usually these prisons are surrounded by wooded areas, so they'll kind of go through the woods and will come up to the big, tall barbed wire fences that surround the prison, and they will throw them over. Or at least that's the idea. Um, these are some pretty tall fences. That's why these inmates try to find and recruit somebody out there who's pretty strong, has a good arm on them. And it's, it's you know, you hear it all the time. Maybe they threw five and only two made it over and three didn't make it over. Um, it happens a lot. Sometimes they all get over. Sometimes none get over. The way they usually construct these packages, just to get the most out of uh, what they can into a little package, um, they'll start with a big one-pound bag of loose tobacco. So if we just imagine this is a bag, a bag of loose tobacco, um, and they'll lay it flat, and maybe they have an ounce of weed, a bag of pills, and a phone, a, a small touchscreen smartphone, and a charger, and they'll put it in the center of this and then they'll fold this over okay so it's kind of like a a cylinder and then they'll take duct tape usually black duct tape so it's harder to see being thrown over the fence at night and they will wrap it up yes the guards are aware of this uh, usually there's a couple of them out there at night watching for anything like this but there's simply not enough of them to to watch every part and catch it every time a lot of times they do catch it and the inmates lose their stuff and whatever money they invested but a lot of times they don't see it and the inmates get it um, now i know in my prison specifically to combat this uh, they put up 50 to 100 foot tall nets <laughs> to where it's something that no person could ever throw something over and the inmates decided they were going to put all their money together and buy a drone and they have someone come out there and fly a drone over these nets and just drop the contraband onto the yard just like before so it has always been and will probably always be uh, a game of catch me if you can with these inmates and these guards so those are the three main ways uh, that contraband would get brought in. There are a lot more advanced and, and very specific ways that really are tailored to what yard you are on and which prison. Um, I can go into those on another video, but as for this one, I hope you enjoyed it. hope it gave you some insight, and let me know what you think about it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another.